So a very good evening to one and all. In this lecture, we are going to study about the integumentary system, like, like what is actually an integumentary system and the main function of it and the main like main part who is actually involved in the integumentary system and what it is exactly. So basically speaking about the integumentary system, so the integumentary system is nothing but the outermost part of like in say outermost layer of the organism of an organism a very outermost layer means the very protection uh, like the integumentary system in uh, it mainly consists of the skin okay the skin is the physical barrier of an organism like the skin is like it is separating the external environment and the internal environment of an organism so that is nothing but the integumentary system is all about in short okay so integumentary system it's it its main function is to protect skin it protects us with the like everything like it protects us from the external environment it protects it doesn't allows the internal organs organs and the internal muscles and everything to come in direct contact with the environment so it actually it is helping us to you know like to have a protection so that is what is like the skin is important for so now like i will show a 3d figure a 3d model of a skin which actually i have made so if you can see this this is nothing but it is a 3D figure, a 3D model of a skin. So like I, okay, like if you can see it clearly. So I will take it in front of the camera to show. So this is the skin. Like you can see the uppermost part, okay. So this is nothing but okay the this part this is nothing but it is like the very outermost layer of like our skin okay that is like like epidermis okay it is a epidermis okay the outermost part okay before the before i speaking about the part just like look at the 3d figure like 3d model which actually i have made it so this is the 3d model i hope it is clear like okay so explaining the parts of these like this this full 3d figure so if you can see this the pinkish like you can see the dark pink color part this much part it is the epidermis what it is it is a epidermis okay and the next this part this much part like the I, I hope you can see that how much I am measuring with the help of my fingers so this is the epidermis very outermost part of a of our skin and then we have this this layer this layer is nothing but dermis like below epidermis we have dermis and then finally we have a hypodermis okay this is nothing but it is a hypodermis then you can see from here like if i will this is the skin okay like if you will just check this part like the outermost part of your skin then this is the outermost part okay so you have hair follicle see i have made the hair follicle like the hairs hair cells and so this this part okay this part this part is nothing but there are many cells you can see so this these are the squamous cells see so these are like these are the squamous cell and these are hairs okay the hairs the outermost like the outgrowth is nothing but the hairs and this is the squamous cells and then you can see from the front part that this reddish color okay this reddish color it is nothing but it is a blood vessel means artery okay everyone knows what is the artery is like these 
like you can see there are many connections those are nothing but arteries the like we say that's okay in, in short i can say that the skin it is vascularized vascularized means it is having blood vessels there is a blood supply in everywhere everywhere in the skin there is a blood supply okay so this is the red reddish color it is a artery and then we have this bluish color okay everywhere you can see there are many connections that bluish color like uh, tubules you can say that is nothing but that is a venule okay so it is a very small a uh, very small veins coming in this uh, skin they don't th those are known as venules that is uh, blue in color okay then you can see that this is like hair is coming from this part okay hair is coming from this part and this is nothing but hair follicle this is nothing but this part okay i will just show it like in the zoomed manner see this is nothing but the hair follicle okay we can say that from here from this part actually the hair hair uh, starts growing okay we can say the root of a hair or we can say the hair follicle this is nothing but hair follicle okay then you can see that above hair follicle can see something is there something like this shape u shape this u shape it is nothing but sebaceous gland what it is it is sebaceous gland okay what is a role of a sebaceous gland so basically sebaceous glands are the glands uh, basically they are exocrine glands okay means they uh, release something they secrete something so the so the uh, secretion of the sebaceous gland this the uh, this sebaceous gland they secrete oil okay or we can say oil as sebum so they secrete sebum they are the exocrine glands okay so we sometimes feel that as some like we say that this person's skin is oily so that oil it is produced by sebaceous gland that is oil is also known as sebum okay okay so this was the hair follicle that is root and this is sebaceous gland then i spoke about the artery and the veins okay then you have ear that you can see that there are many uh, this is like yellowish part this yellowish yellowish part is nothing but they are this is the subcutaneous uh, layer we can say subcutaneous layer that is also known as hypodermis okay hypodermis so basically the hypodermis it is a uh, having many like fat okay it is the deposition of fat we say there are many adipocytes okay adipocytes nothing but fat cells so there are many adipocytes these all are adipocytes okay so this is nothing but these are like adipocytes i hope uh, this this whole part i explained clearly like i hope everyone is clear about it so i told this is a epidermis then dermis this is hypodermis having the adipocytes okay fat deposition is there then you have ve uh, venule and you have artery that is the blood supply supply is there in the skin and then you have this hair follicle that is a uh, root of a hair and then you have hair cells and even i told that this is squamous uh, there are squ this these are the squamous cells okay then like i hope that this much part is like clear like just have a glance i hope this is this much part is clear to all okay then coming to this part okay coming towards the this part okay the lateral part like for lateral part for this okay lateral part of your uh, this di the model which i have made but in the skin it will be present in the same part okay so this is a lateral part i have uh, i'm showing so you can see that this whitish color something i there is a thread of whitish color so this is nothing but it is a sweat gland okay it is nothing but it is a sweat gland so we know that uh, now again said sweat glands are nothing but the glands which actually secretes the sweat okay which releases the sweat okay so during summers we have all like always like uh, like experience a uh, a secretion of sweat from the skin so that sweat is released or you can say secreted by 
uh, sweat glands sweat glands are again exocrine glands okay so this is nothing but it is a this is a sweat gland okay then we have the basal cell okay this is this is nothing but a basal cells and then finally you have melanocytes okay so like the melanocytes okay they are the cells which actually give the color to the skin okay so the skin color like it can be any color okay whitish color or any color dark color medium color any color that color is because of the melanocytes okay so that that is the role of the melanocyte it, it is actually it uh, we say that it is uh, it it uh, provides color to the skin okay so that is nothing but melanocytes so i guess everything is understood in the skin part okay so lastly just you can see this skin like i hope it is clear everything is clear this is the part and then you have this part okay and then finally you have this part okay so this is a basal cells which i told then you have melanocytes present here basal cells are actually they are present below the epidermis okay we say that basal cells are present below the epidermis so basically the role of the basal cells is like they actually produce is the skin cells okay so like let's speak for an example now if some cells are like they are dead now why they are dead because the cells are old means they just they means that their lifespan is already over so they are dead so if they are dead so this these basal cells they actually push it, push them they give them a push and they finally get uh, released out and new cells are formed and the formation of new cells occurs here that is the basal cells okay so i hope this is also clear, clear. so i spoke about the epidermis i spoke about the hypodermis i also spoke about the dermis and then i spoke about the basal cells melanocytes then exocrine glands that is a sweat gland and the sebaceous gland then i spoke about the fat deposition that is the adipocytes okay then i spoke about the blood vessels arteries and then i spoke about the ven venule then i spoke about the hair then hair follicle that is a hair root means from where exactly the hair is formed so i hope that this 3d figure of a skin is clear to you and i hope that there is no doubt in this so thank you for watching this lecture and if you have any kind of doubt then you can drop down below in the comment section that's it so thank